And now we are going to start with the open questions. So do the same, open it with your favorite text editor. So we have only one import here. So it's not very developed yet. And I didn't put any log file here, but it does its job. So uh, we open the file, so it will be named qos.txt, which stands for questions open. And then it will uh, put it inside the processed open questions txt file. And for every uh, single file, this function actually makes uh, the unique name. And all of these functions, they will process uh, the needed numbers uh, for your wrong choices and correct choices and partial uh, wrong choices. So it might look uh, a little strange now, but in the end you will understand. So after we uh, have played with it and with the examples, you will understand why everything is here or there. So you also have the copy number, the date of test, exam name. You don't need the student ID here, uh, because usually uh, you're going to give these uh, printouts with the students' answers to professors, and after that you're going to uh, to have them scanned. So again, it uh, it is going to process the date and have some checks. So here is the header of of your LaTeX source file and we have number of copies, the name of exam and the date of test. So we actually have the name field right here in the header because we are going to identify students by the name field, not by the um, ID number, but you can clearly copy and paste the ID numbers from the previous uh, code so that you can uh, easily identify many students automatically. I usually have not more than 10 people for open questions exam, so it should be fine. Okay, so uh, the, the question itself, uh, as you've seen from the PDF on GitHub, it will process um, every single line of text and we will have open question marks as QO. So it starts with QO, for example, uh, QO, QO, then goes to, uh, the first number and the second number. So uh, this will identify how many lines there are going to be in the open question and what is the maximum uh, point that the student will get for the whole uh, and fully correct answer. Okay, so the, the footer is very short here and I guess this is the end of the overview of this script and I will see you 